What's going on everyone? Garnet Walters here and I'd like to thank you for checking out today's video. I'd like to give a special shout out to all my subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button below and press on that little bell so you know when a new video comes out. Before I get into today's video, I'd like to give a special shout out to Sebastian Wheat at ShowMeThat.com. Um, I did an instructional video with them and it was a very rewarding experience because I love sharing whatever I know with other musicians going on the same journey as I am. So the website link is going to be in the description. Um, go there and check out my DVD and check out other musicians' DVDs at ShowMeThat.com. So in today's video, I'm going to give a quick tip on sight reading. Sight reading is usually a scary and uncomfortable thing that we as musicians have to learn. Um, it's very challenging, but it's also very rewarding. Um, one tip that I found to be very helpful is to not look at the notes individually, but to read the intervals. And what I mean by that is this. So as you can see here, I have a Bach chorale here, and I'm gonna look at this first measure right here. So instead of me reading, this is an A, that's an E, that's a C, and that's an A, looking at the notes individually, I just look at the intervals. So in my right hand, I'm looking at a perfect fourth, and in my left hand, I'm looking at a minor third. So when I put that all together, I get an A minor chord. Then I look at the next chord here and I see that it's a fifth in the right hand and then I see it's a minor third in the left hand. And looking at all this, especially with the accidental there, I see that it's an E major seven chord in its first inversion. Then I look at the next chord here and then I see that this is a minor sixth. And in the left hand, it's just A in unison. So when you put it all together, you get A minor. Now, one thing about sight reading is recognizing intervals and recognizing when things are the same. So as you can see here in the third chord, the next set of intervals here is it's the same. So since you know what that is, that already knocks out a minor six, sorry. So now when you look in the left hand, all you see here is an octave. So now when you put it all together, you get So instead of looking at the notes individually, it's more important to look at the intervals because it's a lot faster. And plus, when you're playing in a band, you're not going to have time to look at individual notes. So when you look at the intervals, it just works quickly. So I hope that this tip was really helpful. I mean, it was really helpful for me when I learned it. because I had a bad habit of trying to get all the individual notes right. And while I was doing that, the metronome was moving along and I was still stuck on the first measure. So now all I need to do is just recognize the interval and just play the interval. And if I make a mistake, that's okay because I'm just reading it, especially for the first time. So I hope this helps once again. And um, again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and click on that bell. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write a comment below. And don't forget to click on the link in the description to go to showmethat.com to check out my instructional DVD and the other DVDs of other great musicians. Once again, thank you again for your support. Have a great day and keep on practicing.